where artist was fascinated by and turned into a graphic novel. Mm -hmm. So the fact that there's now, you can fill a section of a bookstore, so it would be essentially like one of these shelves, one of these bookshelves, worth of material. Uh, I, can't, I can't offhand you know, think of titles for you uh, offhand, but... Uh, uh, we've, we've got a wonderful one of the Donner Party. Oh, oh, there you nice. go. Very dark. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like just just last week, I picked up um, a book called uh, The Black Ships about Admiral Perry and the opening of Japan. Hmm. And, and 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 actually, before that, because I'm, I'm a big fan of Japanese history, I picked up um, a multi manga part thick thing called Showa about Japan's history in between, like uh, in the lead up to World War II, oh. hmm. and how they went from you know like being an interesting, cool republic to this bizarre fascist dictatorship. And, but the thing is, like, it's epic. <laughs> Each volume is like this. <laughs> and I've only, I've only gotten this far into the first thing. So it's really exciting to see that, uh, that there's more and more um, material like that. Because I know that when I was a kid, they didn't have that kind of thing. So, I, so, so the way I got sucked into to, uh, literature or, or history was through movie adaptations that I got excited about. So I would go see Lawrence of Arabia and think, wow, this is a great picture. I want to learn more about Lawrence of Arabia. I want to learn more about the Ottoman Empire. I want to learn more about, you know, the Arab Revolt from, you know, watching a movie. And similar things with TV shows. In fact, there was, I remember back when I was a kid, uh, some TV shows that were like movies or specials dealing with biographies or histories would have at the end this little bumper that come on and goes, do you want to learn more? Go to your library and pick up these books. Right on, and I did that as a kid. It's like, oh, there's a thing that I can, uh, there's a supplemental material? Because, you know, because we didn't have, uh, at that time, oh man, I'm an ancient man. We didn't have, like, the DVDs and the VHS. So, like, you see something, and that's it. <laughs> you know, you have to, like, you have to wait until it comes back on TV or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the idea of, like, being able to go to the library and pick up a book about the cool movie that you just saw was my version of, of that kind of, of that kind of, 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 how, of how pop culture can you know, and, and, and if done well, can turn you on to or what people say lowbrow art can turn you on to highbrow, you know, kind of things. So. Well, I know a lot of like libraries, at least in the Portland area, they like kind of have this curated graphic novel section now. And every once in a while, you'll be at a show, and a librarian will come by and like look at your table and maybe buy some copies for their library. But like, you can go to libraries and find like manga now, or like young adult uh, graphic novels, like all of Raina Telgemeier's stuff, like Smile, Drama, Babysitter's Club, like librarians love that stuff. And it's, I don't know, I feel like I hear from a lot of librarians that I talk to, like ALA, like we love having stuff like this because kids who are reluctant readers see the pictures and that kind of bridges the gap where like having just a regular book with just text is maybe a little bit daunting. They'll see like, oh, it has, you know, pictures and words and they'll, get into reading that way and then that encourages them to build their reading level. Mm -hmm. So comics are important, yeah, it's, it's especially in libraries. That, we, that I actually tried to implement here. Um, we had a children's graphic novel section and a young adult graphic novel section. So, just uh, When I was a kid growing up in Roseburg, uh, the Douglas County Library had Tintin. And I absorbed every bit of Tintin. It's actually before the official Brett comic collection period existed that Tintin is very influential in my uh, passion for comic books. And mine um, as well. That was a huge favorite of mine as a kid. Tintin was, I mean, because it, it was cleanly drawn, it was very elegant, and it, he was traveling all over the world, and the author was really into making sure that you know, he did his homework and so everything looked great. So that was those very worn, beat up copies in the Douglas County <laughs> Library in the early '80s. So. Oh, I think the first comic I checked out from my library in Westland was Akira, because mm. <laughs> I had seen the anime and I was really excited. I wanted to like read the actual comic, and they had like one, I didn't realize that it was like six volumes worth. <laughs> But my library only had like the first book. I remember checking that out and just being like, "I can get this at the library. This is amazing." <laughs> I remember, like, aside from the when I was talking about comic books and smoke screen and whatever, before that I used to get Sunday paper all the time, you know, mm -hmm. just to, and before they started collecting them, I used to just cut cut out Calvin and Hobbes and Bloom County and just save them. So I had a huge, like, that's smart. Um, well, and then they started releasing the books and I just threw them all away. But <laughs> yeah, um, a couple of years ago, um, and this was like one of the coolest experiences ever. Um, the I got to speak at the. Um, 
the um, uh, National Library um, Association thing. Um, uh, I forgot what it was called. Anyway, um, it was a It was put. It's the um, festival put on the, by the Library of Congress. Oh. So they um, they had me speak there, and that was you know amazing. But then the the lady who um, who was my primary contact, she took me into the Library of Congress, and um, they just she said, "Is there anything you'd like to see?" And I said, "Oh, if you have any original art from um, Burke Brief or Bill Latterson, who did Calvin and Hobbes from Boone County." And she said, "We don't have any Bill Latterson, but we have Burke Brief." And I got to see like original stuff that he had drawn, and I was like, "This is badass." <laughs> <laughs> that is, I didn't realize they kept stuff like that. Yeah, Congress. yeah, it was it was awesome. They they asked me to donate a page. I was like, what? "Awesome, put me next to Burke Brief," and they were like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> Like, Sorry, alphabetically. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Grace, Chow. It's all good. That's right. Bummer, man. That's really cool, though. <laughs>